scroll. I feel like I'm getting, a, I'm getting a scroll like, like Literally, this. Literally. That was um, That was epic. It was kind of epic. I liked it. I liked strings. it at the end where it was just like, I, I had this kind of, um, I don't know what was happening. I had this, I couldn't really hear which was the feedback coming from your guitar versus this, but it was some sort of, Like a like a fog horn, fog, fog something horn, something like that. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, welcome, welcome back, back to Anderson's TV. Hello. Uh, this. Please like and subscribe. Yes, please like and subscribe. Quick, quick, quick. Say it as fast as you can, then you won't quick, even know you've done quick. it. Click, click, click. Click. Um, click it. Burns guitar. Click it. Uh, right. I should full declaration here. Uh, yeah. In 2020, um, I got the opportunity to be part of a small consortium of guitar enthusiasts. Um, mm. and was offered the chance to buy the Burns Guitar Company, which I'm excited and pleased to say uh, that sale went through. Uh, and awesome. myself and my dad now own a little piece of um, British guitar history. Um, yeah. At that point, the consortium made the decision that it would cease all kind of uh, current Burns trading and operations, everything, take the website down, everything, and... Uh, effectively relook at how it would kind of phoenix from the flames the brand. So I know what's been going on in the background is uh, they've been buying all sorts of old Burns instruments, digging into it, talking to Burns enthusiasts, trying to understand um, what was the essence of Burns mm -hmm. and also, you know, looking for all the right places to build them so that they'd be affordable models at one end of the scale and you know, historically yeah, yeah. accurate models at the other end of the scale and all that kind of stuff. But that is uh, a long-winded pro progress, process, process, even. Process, progress, and, process. And there's nothing to really, you know, I'm, I'm, my lips are sealed. I'm not allowed to report on where that is, but it's some way away, I think. Um, these guitars, however, were um, part of the, the, the purchase that was uh, of the old Burns company was to honor a, a couple of um, outstanding orders that they had with factories. Um, and so this is basically uh, a, a run, pretty much, I think it'll just be your last ever opportunity to sort of grab one of these runs. Okay. But this was a run of the old Burns Marquee. Yeah. Um, so you potentially will have seen this guitar in shops over the last 10 years or so, I expect, but quite a popular model for Burns based on the, the Hank Marvin um, Burns guitar, mm -hmm. but obviously this one is made, these are the Chinese made sort of affordable ones. Yep. So you've got the right kind of shape and the right kind of scratch plates and stuff, but with a simplified trim system. And obviously you've still got the scroll headstock, but it's, so it's a, you know, you, you may, there'll be probably lots and lots of videos and reviews on the Burns marquee over the Chinese years. burn. Chinese, Chinese burns. burns, absolutely. Anybody uh, in the UK <laughs> that is about our age probably had one of those on a playground at one point uh, in their childhood. Yeah. Um, Quite a few different colours that we'll go through in yep. a minute, but apart from the fact that some are rosewood boards, some are maple boards, and some have gold hardware and some have chrome hardware, they're all basically the same guitar. Except for um, the rather wonderful, and I must admit, I don't think I've ever played one of these before, uh, the rather wonderful and uh, phallically headstocked uh, Burns <laughs> Double Six. And look at the look at the back of um, the neck. I didn't notice that till just yeah, now. Yeah, that's a, that's a Burns thing. They do this kind of reverse sunburst. Flipping on the back of the wicked, necks. man. Um, Isn't it blood? Do you know? I don't know. What's the oh clubs? <laughs> I thought that was someone's signature on the back of the the plate. No, thinking, it's a is that like series? Um, yes, it's so wicked, that was the series it, it was from, and it? probably. I mean, there are some fabulous old photographs of Burns <laughs> guitars from the years. Uh, but, you know, who... Uh, there's a humongous the, the, headstock if the, I've ever seen yeah, one. Look the, next to the, my head and I've got a big head. <laughs> I mean, honestly. The famous photo of the double six in that green burst is Elvis Presley using it on uh, the set of one of the, the movies that he was in uh, back in the day. Anyway. Hiya. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a weirdy one here because it's kind of um, sort of, you know, even though... The, you know, there's exciting times coming for, for, for Burns. This is a sort of a, a last chance to get one of the um, previous models. They're all 499, uh, so 499 for, for a, a marquee or 49, 499 for the double six. And they're all in classic market trader style. Uh, when they're gone, they're gone. Is that um, what it is? That is I mean, what and it is. And this is proper rosewood. 
Yeah. This is probably also um, the next and, and some of the colors, Canadian, uh, you know, yeah. hardwood maple. Some of the colors and, are from the Burns kind of past. So uh, black with the gold hardware is kind yeah. of um, a bit of a nod towards something like the, the uh, bison. Yes. Um, which was always looked great in a sort of a black with gold hardware. Yes. The Fiesta Red with the gold hardware hey, is starving. obviously a nod towards, yeah, uh, Hank, happy birthday yesterday, I think. Was it? Uh, not when this video comes out, but at the time we're shooting it, yes, I think he was oh. 80, 81, something like that I yesterday. Met him. So happy I birthday. Met him. I met him. Um, um, then we've got. The John, John Mayer uh, one, the John Mayer one over yeah, there. Yeah, this is obviously, this is not a historic kind of Burns colour, but hey, have a bit of fun with the, and the pink. And is this one here? No, that's very contemporary, sort of metallic blue, looks yeah, very good colour, cool. I like the colour. Good colour. Um, and then you've got the green burst on the marquee mm -hmm. uh, and the red burst, which are kind of iconic Burns colours. Iconic. And finally, uh, white with the tortoiseshell guard, which I have to say, that very exact Mundo guitar is what inspired me to do my original white strap with the tortoiseshell really? guard on it. And, 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 for a bit of, you know, this is crikey, again, 30 something years ago, I got the, um, the scratch plate on my Burns guitar, sorry, yeah, on my on Fender strap, guitar, yeah, yeah. came from the place that made the Burns uh, oh. scratch plates because I loved the the depth of the tortoiseshell this on this particular guitar this is just a more typical kind of um, tortoiseshell plastic guard that you might find on other guitars but um, nice logo oh and because I know uh, the comments uh, from left-handed guitar players is what about us what about us you guys uh, have got a couple of colors on the marquee oh. I think so we don't have oh. them here today because Pete and I aren't left-handed but I'm pretty sure if you dive on over, so not the double six, I'm afraid, no lefty versions of that, but there definitely are a couple of lefty versions double of the six. So Mr. Pete. Yeah, you saw I swapped over here, because you've got the, the Hank, the Starling Yeah, let's Marvin talk about it. So, resomatic single coil pickups, mm -hmm. um, a Strat-esque style trem system, but yeah, mounted slightly differently, slightly different, yeah. Uh, yeah. to the way a, a Strat trem would be done, which is a sort of a nod to how the old Resitube trem system might have mounted. Um, and uh, this awesome uh, switching system. So you've got a regular five-way blade here, but you can activate the neck pickup at any point what? by pulling out the back tone control. Um, so can we have some tones, you, you Mr. Can, Pete? Yes, of course oh, you can. And, you can. And, 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 as part of the fun of being little tiny part owner of the new Burns thing, I've sort of taken a bit of an interest in all thing Burns. And uh, check this out. I'm playing through an original uh, Burns Orbit 3, which is a solid state um, 3 by 10. But with a spring reverb. With spring reverb and with tremolo or vibrato system built into it. Um, it's good stuff, Lee. It's big sounding amp. <laughs> it is. Anyway. sounds really good yeah. in the room. Okay, anyway. So, tones from this. I like this colour. It's always been a good colour combination, hasn't it? It's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Nice sustain in these. Uh... Did I see you? Could these pickups were available to buy online yeah. on yeah. the oh. the Resomatic and the Trisonic mm. pickups were you know quite famous pickups back yeah. in the day. Um, so Resomatics were, were what was on the um, Hank models, and the Trisonics were what uh, were eventually went on to the that was the Brian May. Brian May, if you don't know his his red special is mm -hmm. kind of like uh, I don't know, I want to say based on but it, it, prior to that he played like a Burns oh. uh, artist and the pickups that are in the red special are the trisonics that come off of uh, of a Burns guitar which is kind of cool um, it is. lots of cool players back in the day and more recently you know cool players over the years I think have, have played Burns guitars so yeah. anyway See them at, anyway anyway uh, and you've got this um, again uh, what do you call it zero uh, zero, uh, zero fret, fret. Which, uh, it's do you know what? Somebody needs to explain to me what, what the point of a zero fret is. Um, I mean, I guess to a certain degree, is the string like, goes through the, the nut and then that, over the, over over the, the zero fret. fret. Is it an intonation thing? Maybe Could it is. Be? I'm plugged into the uh, orange, actually. Another you, great British brand of amplifier. Be, yeah, and because you've been asking. From a slightly asking, later era than Burns. Yeah, but, but hey. Not much. Let's just put a little bit of reverb on here. Bear with. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Yeah!
And then pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it now. So that, that means, when I pull that, the um, neck pickup goes in in any position. Right? Correct. Correct the mundo. Okay, so here we're going to pull it, we're going to pull it, so. Very, uh, very. Uh, Marvin. I was just trying to think to myself, what amp did he play? But of course, Vox 8030, wasn't it? It was like uh, super, super famous yeah. for that. Of course, it doesn't do anything in, the, in that no. position there. Okay, I mean, that's, that's cool, man. Here we go, let's have some chords here. Burns into burns. Yes. That sounds good, that amplifier, doesn't it? It's, it's solid state. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like... It's solid. A legend has it uh, that the Burns Orbit was one of the first ever solid state guitar amplifiers ever made at a time where... And this is kind of bizarre now, because I think, you know, for the last... For, well, forever, really, we've just associated solid state with being cheap and valve yeah, and yeah. being expensive. And this was at a time when guitar players were looking for kind of something that would stay cleaner, louder, be more reliable. So this was sold as like a better like oh. alternative to a valve wow. amplifier. So it's kind of cool. Um, Sounds great, man. I, I like it. You know? yeah. I mean, I, this is old, so whether or not it needs a service, I don't know. But Bit of extra reverb. I mean, I've not, not really played around with this amp with pedals, but you know, I don't know. Let's have a... Nobles. Don't know. Go fuzzy. Maybe not so much, you know what? but... It's, it's, I think we it, just pulled this out for, for a bit of fun. because The it clean was there, tone's like, amazing. I think so, yeah. The, I, the three tens, that's a yeah, great Yeah, from what I understand, that was the, the Orbit 1 was a 112, the 2 was a 212, and the Orbit 3 was a 310. But, that makes so, sense. They're kind of cool, right? Um, all Maybe the you should bring the them back, Lee. Maybe cool. you should bring them back. Who knows? One step at a time, Mr. Pete. Okay. Um, what do we want to do next? So, so yeah, so we've talked we've talked about the, the, the marquee. Yeah. Um, Resomatic pickups cool. Yep. Um, and what I guess the scroll on? headstock. Oh. So what those are the trisonics. Okay. So they they are what went into the um, the Brian May, you know, when he first did That's, his. Yeah, they look like that, don't they? So you got there basically a, a, a twelve string. Now twelve string electric guitars are rare as hen's teeth, aren't they? You think about brands like Fender do them from time to time. Rickenbacker obviously yeah, have a famous twelve string electric. Yeah. Outside of that. Not many other guitars there, there became there like sort of super Electro famous. Thing. I think there's a Dan yeah, yeah, Electro that's one. True. Is that's that true. Tulip? Um, um, I don't if, know. If you're not, if you've never played, here, give me the white guitar, and you can have a, a strum on that. If you've never played a, a on. twelve string before, uh, you've got the Is bottom that... four strings have a, 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 a an extra string tuned an octave above, and the top two strings, so the E and the B, are just tuned the same. But 
quite often because it's nigh on impossible to tune it's very the <laughs> intervals perfectly, you get this slight chorus effect because yeah. the, the strings are sort of slightly detuned. Guns and Roses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we talked about that before. I mean, twelve string is a is a notoriously difficult to play because you have to press two sets yeah. of strings down as yeah. well. So it will take a little getting used to. But you got the same pull. You can pull yeah. pull it so you get the pick up the neck pick up in. I, I just kind of think if you think of <laughs> all those, you know, the this classic hits written on a 12 string. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, there's the Pretenders <laughs> and the Bangles and Tom Petty and like, so many yeah, yeah. songs that if you'd just written it on a six string would never have had the vibe, you know. It's, but, a, it's um, definitely a vibe thing. It's definitely a vibe. I mean, there's a lot of acoustic. Yeah, acoustic uh, 12 string is more popular. And actually, if you want to do see normal. Ben do some videos on a shoot, I think he shot out some six, some 12 strings. That was a funny day of tuning guitar, that was, but you can go and watch that up there. <laughs> well, look, so that is basically probably all there is to tell you about this. I, I'm, you know, I'm hugely proud and honoured to be yeah, part of you the, should be. the team, sort of cool. looking after Burns for the time being. Uh, I hope uh, what comes out over the next year or two excites all the Burns fans and also brings a whole new crop of, of um, fans to the Burns brand. Yeah. Uh, but and it's as an I said, affordable entry into it, you know, you don't have to have well, this, two this, grand or three grand yeah, to get this, one. You know? This range certainly is. I mean, I'm, again, I can't speak for what's going to come down the line. Um, but yes, four ninety nine for any of the guitars that you can see here today is a lot of guitar for the for the money. Yeah. Um, yeah. And a, and a little slice of you know, Britpop back in the day though, you know, as in proper you need the original big brick pop. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Should we should we jam out we on something? Shall. Should we jam out on a couple we of shall. six strings and we give shall. it a go? All right. Cheers guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Like, subscribe.